My name's Larry Eichstead and I had prostate cancer. I'm the kind of person like a cow has a calf and the calf is getting sick and everything. Well, a lot, there's people that will just say, it isn't worth the vet bill. I don't give up. As long as God's got one breath of life left in them calves, I'm gonna fight to do it. And this may sound silly, but I feel God trusts me to take care of his creation and I better give 110% every day or don't be in it. Well, it's some of God's incredible creation. And you see that every day out there. I mean, with the crops, with the livestock. I just asked the good Lord, I was just tired of the whole thing, just to bring this special lady into my life, the one he wanted me to spend the rest of my life with, and that I would know instantly that was her. And one night, my buddy and I, I had called him and I said, hey, you want to go to the show? You ain't got a date? And I said, no. Nope. Why? I said, never mind. I said, I'll just pick you up. That was the first time I seen her. My buddy and her come out of the theater, and I got out of my car, stepped up on the curb, and I looked at like, wow. Well, then my buddy went into the theater with me, and he was buying his ticket to go in. And I says, Mick's his name. I said, Mick, you know that girl out there we just talked to? Yeah, Janelle, yeah. That's the girl I'm going to marry. My doctor now, he said, you're 52 years old, you're young. He said, we're going in, we're going to take it out, and we're done with it. And I like him because he's a take-charge dude. Okay, so then uh, we took the prostate out, and by the grace of God, it hadn't, it was encapsulated. Well, then last year, it started inkling up a little. I mean, we're talking 0, 2, or 0. 0.2, whatever. Well, then it got to 0. 0.22. And he says, I, I don't like this. And I says, well, what's up? He said, the only way that a PSA can go up when you don't have a prostate, there's got to be cancer cells in there. That's all that's to it. Okay, so what's your battle plan? Once we start, we had to keep pounding on it. Monday through Friday for 37 times. Well, then with the snowstorms and everything, there was a few times I just could not get over there because, you know, I had all my livestock and everything to be taken care of. And so I think we missed three, but then they put them on the end. I had my uh, radiation at the Sanford Cancer Center in Worthington, and Ashley and Amber were the two nurses that helped me and just were sweethearts through it all. You go there, and the first time I was jittery and everything, and then I got to know them, and well, after the second or third time, boom, okay. I'd walk in, hi guys, how you doing? And, Ashley or Amber would come and get me and back we'd go. And those girls, they got to know that I had livestock and that was so sweet of them. Every day, how's your girls doing? How's the cattle? Or you get your chores done. And I mean, you, like I say, it was almost like a family. They kept asking me questions and, and no, they, they are two sweethearts.